and I believe the scythe doesn't actually cost energy, right? The six, yeah. So we could at least clear out this, like these like weeds. But I do want to use the bit of energy that I still have left for something else. So first we'll craft this chest, place it, let's say here. Um, get rid of you guys. Everything pretty much. Uh, do I need the scythe? Let's let's keep the scythe and the pickaxe for now. We won't need the watering can for a minute, but we do always want to take the hoe at least with us. And here are some forageables. This is what the what the television was talking about. We can sell these dandelions and daffodils, and there's some. Uh, I think that's leek. Yeah. We can sell those, or we can keep them for the community center. I don't know yet if we'll need them. That's the interesting thing with the remixed community center. But first things first, I do want to look at the bulletin board. Right click, gotta remember. So here we have a view of spring. You can see that Mayor Lewis has his birthday on Sunday the 7th um, and presents on birthdays are like eight times the value so we want to give them something on that day. Uh, there's the egg festival at the 13th and the flower dance at the 24th and that's quite nice. And here's Gus. Well hello there, I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Yeah, he's the bartender here. Welcome, this is Piers. This is the, the normal store where you can buy seeds and stuff. Oh, that's right. I heard someone he was moving up to the old farm. That's Abigail. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. And she's the daughter of the... Well, she's, uh, as far as we know, the daughter of the store owner and his wife. Um, we're not sure about the store owner part. Oh, Mia Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie, and she sells uh, farm animals. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Hey, Miss, it's Mr. Krampus, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. A little agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. I see. So, um, here we can buy seeds. Uh, this was a grass starter which helps us get a uh, field of grass going for animals. We can buy some stuff for cooking. Uh, and he has some other stuff. Uh, saplings for trees, but those are very expensive. There's the catalog, uh, all, all kinds of things. Um, what I kind of want to do is sell what I have here and the thing is for the first um, season, for the first spring, one of the very very important and very uh, well selling crops is strawberries but you cannot buy those here, you can only get them at the egg festival. So you want to make as much money as possible until the 13th. And I think we cannot actually get the cauliflowers going until then because I don't think it counts the day where you plant them. Uh, so it, they would be ready on the 13th, but we can't sell them on the 13th. So um, I think the best idea here is to go for potato seeds. And yeah, let's just get 13. Um, might need to get something for energy to be able to plant those but there's still some forageables around here and yeah let's just talk to some people oh hey you're a new guy huh cool I'll see you around okay not very talkative but that's fine oh and also very important you can search the trash cans um, you just might want to make sure that you're not seen while doing that. Oh, hello, I'm Penny. Okay. No more dialogue there. 
Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. Spring is lovely. And uh, those few people that we've talked to, there, they're all eligible bachelor rats and bachelors. So, uh, Abigail, uh, Leah, here's another one, Harvey. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Belkin Town. It's rewarding work. Um, so you can date and marry in this game. You can actually date multiple people at once. If you date all people at once, that's also something that can have an effect. Um, there's like a cutscene that happens in that case. Doesn't really end well for you. But yeah, this is the community center. We cannot enter here yet, I think. We can enter starting on the fourth. Because the third is a rainy day, and I think it's. Yeah, I think it's the fourth. But we can enter the community center and start that quest. And for the community center, we kind of just need to deliver items. Uh, to there and yeah we, we get rewards for that and there's like packages of stuff and if you get all packages in like one room you get a special reward and it's it's a very nice little quest a stranger hello that's Linus a local homeless person this is uh, Robin's shop the carpenter's shop and there's also like a laboratory and a uh, workshop in there. A very, very, very involved family. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. So that's Robin, the carpenter. And here you can buy wood and stone and stuff like that. And a whole bunch of furniture. Um, most of this is pretty useless except the recipes. Um, as well as the calendar and the workbench. Where do we have it? Here. Um, yeah, the telephone is also quite nice, but for the most part, um, either you come here to buy wood and stone, uh, but I think it like the second year, the quest quadruples, so you gotta watch out for that. But for the most part, you come here for farm buildings, so coop for chickens, ducks, uh, rabbits, and what else? Or maybe that was it. The barn for cows, goats, and what else? There was something else. Uh, cows, goats, and sheep. A well to refill your watering can. I never built any of these. There's the silo to store uh, your feed, I think it holds up to 200 pieces of hay. There's the mill, never used it before. There's the shed, and this is where you put a whole bunch of like machinery and whatever. Um, very useful. There's the fish pond, I haven't used those yet. They're a new thing. Uh, and then there's the cabins for multiplayer. This is basically where, if you're playing in multiplayer, that's the house of the other players in, on the server. There's the stable. With a stable you'll get a horse to ride around. There's the slime hutch, never used it. Uh, you can build a new shipping bin and then you can also upgrade coops, barns and sheds as far as I know. And then you can also uh, upgrade your own house. And you need to do that in order to be able to marry as well as cook. So the first upgrade is 10,000 G and 450 pieces of wood. And that's also a goal that we are going to work towards. This is Demetrius, the local scientist and father. <laughs> Thanks for introducing yourself. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter Maru? She's interested to meet you. All right. Interesting. And they also have a son who very rarely leaves his basement, which means he's kind of like me. I mean, I don't live in a basement, but I also leave that area where I live in not that often. 
Okay, can we get something for energy to be able to plant those potatoes? That would be nice. Because daffodils don't give any energy. Um, we could go to the forest south of our farm. And usually we should be able to find some stuff there. Um, I won't try to talk to everyone in town on my first day. It's probably not gonna happen, but maybe in the evening we can go to the saloon. And usually there's some people in the saloon, but not a lot. Ah yeah, there's also mixed seeds. Those you can find by uh, basically cleaning up your farm. And they contain pretty much an assorted array of plants from the current season. So it's kind of random what's going to grow from them. So let's have a look if we can't find something with energy. I want to get a very good start for this game. Because the more you get done on your first day, the more you can do in your second day and so on. But hmm, actually, let me think, because there is like a mechanic where if you have a lot of crops you can spawn crows which will eat some of them so it might not actually be a very good idea to plant all of the potatoes right now and un until we can make a scarecrow ah we're gonna be fine if we lose a crop or two it's better to grow some of them than to grow none of them right so the wild horse radish that we just got, that's going to give us energy. Dandelions give up energy. And in this area, in spring, some wild onions also tend to grow. But I think that happens later in the season. And we should get back to our farm now, because we're kind of running out of time. So let's eat the wild horse radish. As well as the dandelion. And those give us actually quite a good boost of energy here. Alright. And here is Marnie's house. Uh, again, she's the one who's going to sell us livestock once we have a coop or a barn. Uh, yeah, let's plant those potatoes. No, we're not going to boil them, mash them, or stick them in a stew. We're actually just going to sell them. Two, three, four. Actually, that was one too much. And we got some clay, that's nice. Actually, how much energy do I have left? I think I can plant those mixed seeds as well. Let's do like a row three here. Yeah, no idea what we just planted. We'll see when it happens. Let's water those as well. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to having sprink uh, sprinklers soon, um, because watering a large crop is going to take a whole lot of time. And I'm actually going to, I'm gonna sell those dandelions because they're not that rare. And I want to sell something on my first day, just to get some money. Some more wood. Can never have enough wood and stone. Yeah, and let's uh, let's visit the saloon.
What was that? I saw something move. What was that like a bat or something or an owl? Those can happen from time to time. Yeah, in the saloon there's uh, usually quite a few people, but more on Friday and Saturday than, you know, Monday. So this is Clint. He's the blacksmith. Uh, hi, I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? That's Shane. He's the town drunk male drunkard. And this is Pam, the town female drunkard. Hey kid, name's Pam. Nothing like a silver girl stuff for one of these old bones. We already met Gus. Good evening. Can I get you anything? And this is Emily. Oh, I can read it in your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in this evening, stop by the saloon. That's why I work. I mean, kind of already here, okay? Um, yeah, that's a few more people there. 16 out of 28. I think that's not half bad. Oh, are we still missing? So, we are still missing. Yeah, those two, they're a married couple. We can just visit them at home tomorrow. That's one of the girls. That's like the wife of someone. Um, I think those are her two kids. That's Caroline, the uh, wife of Pierre. And a whole bunch of uh, bachelors and bachelorettes. That's Maru, the daughter of Demetrius and Robin. That's the wizard. I don't think he counts. Uh, that's the... Is, is she the daughter of Marnie or is she like just living with her? Something like that. And that's Willie. We're going to meet him tomorrow to get our fishing rod because fishing is also a big part of this game. And you cannot actually meet him on the first of spring. You have to meet him on the second of spring and um, because he's still on a fishing trip. So let's um, maybe cut a bit more grass before we go to bed. But we should try to get to bed early because at, I think it's midnight you start to take basically energy damage for the next day. And at two you just collapse and then you start with way less energy than you had before. like to cut those there and yeah I think after that we'll go to bed and finish our first day. Not a bad first day I would say. Met a few people, planted our first crops, actually more than uh, you would think and we collected some resources. So let's sleep for the night. And at the end of each day you get uh, all of the level ups that happen during the day, as well as like a financial overview of what you sold and some other stuff sometimes. So now we have level one foraging, which is very important because trees now drop seeds. And with a pine, an oak, as well as What's the third type of tree? So for the, for the, I think acorns, no. But for the three type of seeds, you can create a field snack. That's our first actual food item that we can get. And we can also craft wild seeds for spring. Um, wild seeds are a combination of the three forageables of this season. So leek, dandelion and daffodil, and they randomly grow those forageables. And we get some foraging money, not a lot. Daffodils aren't worth much, but we get some money. All right. And with that, I'll just go to the toilet. I'll be right. I'll be right back. <laughs> 